And she has COVID-19. Better lock her ass up. Quarantine her ass. How about a little resurrection video? This is a vintage radio phonograph. And it's in bad shape. And yes, this is probably much better suited for radio, TV, phone or not. But he's there and I'm here and it's here. So let's be together apart, separate in this together with each other because we will make it through. No idea of the history. Still got that sensual flocking thing on top of it. No idea of the year. These are not my forte. L82A. A static. Doesn't have a needle in it. Is this one of those that takes uh, like a, a nail? Or a uh, cactus thorn? Is this that old? I think it is. You unscrew this and you put like a one of those single time use nails in there and screw it back down. Interesting. Like I said, this is not my this is not my specialty. And I know that everybody wants CRT videos right now. And those the CRT videos will return. Oh, here it is. It's an automatic brand. The CRT videos will return as soon as I get things back online. Uh, when I'm allowed to by the folks in office who are trying to bolster their whatever and get whatever agenda they're trying to push through through. Then they'll let me get things back online in my life and... Uh, We'll start doing some CRT videos again. Look at this. Rating 60 watts, 105 to 125 volts AC. Provisionally approved Los Angeles Building and Safety Commission. I don't think I've ever seen anything like well, Here we go. Engineered by RCA. Model 240? Oh, it's four tubes. Okay. What, do, what is this? A TRF set? It's got some hours on it. Look at the filament evaporation. So what is this? A TRF set? Boy, this is really a radio TV phone on it. Special. He's been... So yeah, it's got to be. There are no IF transformers. So TRF is a uh, tuned radio frequency. It's kind of like a crystal set with a bunch of amplifiers. Kind of. And this power cord. This, this power cord is just in mint condition. Look at this. So the phonograph needle comes in, what is that, 500K? That comes into the volume control the same as, looks like the TRF detector. So what do we do? We go middle for phono. I wonder, I wonder how this works. Because basically it looks like the phono and the radio would play at the same time. Well, let's power it up. I think I'll power it up on a light bulb. Here we got a 25 watt, a 40 watt. We'll start with the 25. See what happens here. Doesn't seem to be getting dim. Maybe the turntable motor is on. How do you turn the 
turntable motor on and off. Interesting. So this switch Is this a 35Z5? You know, the rectifier tube acts like a fuse in these, so if something shorted, it just blows the rectifier tube apart, and I would rather not do that if I could avoid it. Ooh. TRF set should get KNX. Someone put a lot of hours on this. I, I just, you know, look at the filament evaporation there. All of them. Wow, look at that one. I'm going to go up to the 40 bulb. Well, it definitely has open filter. Check out the divot in this roller from sitting right there for who knows how many years. Look at that. The nice thing about this is it looks like you could pull the rubber off and just put an O-ring on there. That is awesome. That'd be like clunk, 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 clunk. Boy, that would really be rocking. Okay, well, the motor runs. Oh, yeah. Nice. That is excellent. That is an excellent idler wheel. In excellent condition. Okay, I went up to the 200 watt light bulb. Let's see if there's any activity from this thing. Maybe. Very little, but I, I, we could have a gain issue here because of bad filters and low, low voltage. Not that you'd hear it over that anyway.
71 RPM. Eh, it's a little slow. It's maybe if I change that O-ring it would and lubricated the thing it would be right on. The silver one is a finishing nail I cut off. The one that's ribbed is a paneling nail. I guess they're the same size, aren't they? So there is a tiny bit of activity here. Not that you hear it over the airplane anyway. Yeah, I don't think that, I don't think that. I don't think that nail is quite sharp enough. Okay, how about this? This is off one of them things you use to hang your drapes with. So what would happen if I just turn this damn thing over? Okay, I turned the rubber over. Boy, did that make a big difference. Well, it did for a minute. These bearings are not dry. Okay. Yeah. So what do we got here? We got a two section filter capacitor. There's nothing nothing special about this. Okay, I just bridged a couple 47 at 200s across the primary filter here. This filter is not totally open, but it's bad. Oh, this this is better than Mrs. Miller. Check this out. Actually, that's so good, I don't want to destroy it. Oh, this is priceless. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a new hit right there. Audio Disc 129, made in USA. Yeah, I don't think it likes my... Uh, I don't think it likes my curtain hanger. 
it's not an approved needle. God, I hope I didn't ruin it too bad. That That's almost too good. Okay, our main... Our main B plus is 124 coming out of the rectifier. And then it goes through this 2.2 resistor to the secondary here. And that's 34 volts. That seems low to me. So... Do we have a bad resistor or a leaky capacitor? I just touched this. Because of the continuing coronavirus threat, but for those who want to get out for some holiday fun and recreation, there are more ways now to do that in LA County. After being closed since March because of the virus outbreak, the parking lots and bike paths at some of the county's most popular beaches have now been opened again. People are also being allowed to use more hiking trails and visit other outdoor recreation areas. The weekend also brings good news for stores located inside LA County shopping malls. They're now being allowed to resume sales, but for the Bat machines were disabled to keep people apart. His first experience back turned sour. A couple of other casinos in the area say they also plan to reopen, including Spotlight 21 Casino in Coachella and Curtis Rock Casino in 29 Palms. Some health officials say we're reopening too recklessly. We're turning. Oh it yeah. Keep it shut down. Just shut it down forever. Just, just shut it down forever. Nobody needs to work. The government will, let's just do the Yang bot thing and just everybody gets a government stipend and just shut it down forever. Jonathan Fielding, the former public health director for LA County, tells KX that I can't. reopening needs to be more cautious. Oh, of course it does. <laughs> this, is, this is a design flaw right here where we put a straight edge here and the coil is lower than the bottom of the chassis so that coil has been grinding on the wood down here for I don't know how many years test and x-ray MRI review normally three hundred seventy five dollars but just ninety seven dollars I will say man I, I could definitely use a, a decent haircut and, and certainly See if it'll get LA oldies. His spousal benefit and hear this. And actually, it doesn't work too bad. By the way, just to note this, this should be recapped before using it. Of course, all these paper capacitors should go. And one of the reasons why is even though it's working right now, and you would think, oh, it's okay. For instance, this capacitor right here, we have uh, three volts, 3.65 volts positive on the control grid of the audio output tube. If you let that go, it would destroy that audio output tube in short order. And the same with all these other ones. So even though it might work, these all need to go. Now, this is just a resurrection video. I might... I might consider sending this to Radio TV Phone or not when uh, the financial situation is back to where I could do that. Because he has more of a passion for these TRF-78 sets. There's nothing ever recorded on a 78 that I want to hear. Until they start putting mumble rap 
and modern uh, country hip hop on these, I just have no use for 78s. So, but this just does not have the selectivity to pick up LA Oldies 1260. It's a weak station. It's just, it's going to get buried. I mean, there's no selectivity with a TRF set. It's just a crystal radio with a lot of amplification. Yes, just just sit back and listen to your masters. They'll make all the right decisions. They'll make all the decisions that are in your best interest. Don't question anything they say. Just stay in your house and keep your drapes closed. Honestly, how do you think that the season restarted. If you eliminate travel, it is very conceivable that the quality of the games will be much better. Everyone's just going to be totally focused. So actually, this could really work out for the NBA. And I don't know how to switch it to. Well, maybe I'm being stupid here. Maybe it's not two bands. Maybe it's just one side as meters and one side as kilohertz. Everything was fine. It was paid for. So a week later, uh, they sent me a request. Hey, would you like to stay again? I has been I mean, it wor everything. works good. It sounds good. Nothing, nothing wrong with it. It's just not going to be selective and pick up the weaker stations that are could be easily buried by stations on the sides of them. Look, I think you really like this new GMC. Yeah, not a chance. I mean, I think I should try and find another record player. I think we need to listen to this. As far as the cabinet goes, I have some of that Verathane that you do the hardwood floors with. I'm tempted. That would, you just lightly maybe brush this off with some steel wool. And just, even though this is in pretty bad shape, that Verathane would just bring this right out. It would make it, it put a glossy coat on it. Let's try that one more time without the airplane. This is almost like a homemade record. Like it's done on a recordio.
Hear that last little part again. I'm trying not to laugh. I'm trying to be professional here not to laugh at this, right? As if this whole video hasn't just been a cluster offensive. Hold on. <laughs> she has COVID 19. Better lock her ass up. Quarantine her ass. <laughs> Eat your heart out, Mrs. Miller. No collar and no dog house of his own. But he's at home and contented. Okay, so in summary here, uh, TRF set, 78 player. They are champions of justice. Needs a complete recap. Uh, filter, electrolytic filter, two section, plus all of these wax capacitors need to go. Probably wouldn't hurt to change the re or check the resistors, although it seems to be working about as good as I probably would expect it to. As far as the gramophone goes, it might be too elegant of a name for something like this. But as far as the gramophone goes, it just needs some TLC. It needs it needs the right needles, not curtain hangers. Uh, it probably needs a new cartridge. And it needs the mechanism cleaned and lubricated, which is really no big deal. Uh, not really much to it. And I would also put an O-ring. Yeah, Automatic transmission have O-rings of size sizes and seals that size in them. So, you know the uh, the seals for the the planetary pack clutches in an automatic transmission use those type of square circular seals like that. So, definitely could get a replacement for that rubber lubricated it's not bad actually this thing is not bad it just speakers good which is a start and the only thing I see is this coil rubbing and I don't know what I'm gonna do about that uh, but yeah this might be I might put this on the back burner for the nut because this is his more of his thing than mine the point of a resurrection is just to bring something back to life, not to uh, restore it. Restore it. We know what it would take to restore it. It's how many hundreds of thousands of videos are there on restoring four or five, six tube radios? 
I mean, it's a formula. You change the capacitors, you check and replace the resistors, you clean the tube sockets, you clean the pots. Do we really need another video? You replace the line cord, you bring it up slowly on a variac. Do we really need another video going over that step by step? You know, everything today is about being safe. You know, is life supposed to be totally safe? Wouldn't that be boring? I mean, is working on this without an isolation transformer safe? Is working on this at all safe? Is anything safe? So I put a piece of electrical tape on there. That should be safe. I put a little capacitor in series with the paper capacitor. That should be safe. That should keep the tube safe. And that's not safe. Open streets are not safe. Going to the beach is not safe. So I wonder, okay, so this radio was built probably, uh, I don't know, I, uh, Phononet says late 30s, early 40s. Would the people in the late 30s, would they have accepted their governor having to sign an order that 10 people can be in one spot at one time? How would that have gone in the 1930s? Huh, I wonder. I mean, I know about the 1918 flu, but yeah, okay, whatever. So I also just tacked a big uh, 220, 200 volt capacitor across that. This is just to make it safe. Because the power cord is safe. I tell you, if this had the right needle on it, it would dominate. In a valley, it's worth at 72. And in Ontario, we're at 71, it's 7.5. 